Hello viewers, I am Aitli. Today we are going to see 11 CBSC Max Straight Line Exercise 10.3 Question Number 14. Let's see the question. Find the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular from the point 1, comma, minus 1, comma, 3 to the line 3x minus 4y minus 16 is equal to 0. Here they have given a point minus 1, comma, 3 and they are asking us to find this point asking us to find the coordinate of P. Here they have given an equation of this and this line, this line is perpendicular. Now perpendicular, we can find the equation of this line. We know that the, this is perpendicular to this line. So using the perpendicular equation for value, we can find the uh, equation of this line. Eliminating this two equation, we can find the point if anything point intersection point between two lines just eliminating the equation you will get the point of intersection so to find p just eliminating the equation we will get it before that we need to know the equation of this line so equation of line perpendicular to 3x minus 4y minus 16 equal to 0 is Remember that for a perpendicular, the coefficient of x and y transverse. Here it becomes 4x, here it becomes 3y. Now the sign of, you need to change the sign of y. If it is minus, we need to change to plus. And the constant term varies. So you may need to write any constant term, I am writing it to be k. We know that this is the line equation of the perpendicular line which is this. And we know the point minus 1 comma 3 passes through this as minus 1 comma 3 passes through it we can directly substitute the point instead of x and y to find k now this becomes 4 into minus 1 plus 3 into 3 plus k equal to 0 now this becomes minus 4 plus 9 plus k equal to 0 so k equal to here it becomes plus 5 if this comes to the side k equal to minus 5 so equation of the line will be equation of the perpendicular line will be just substitute the k value here 4x plus 3y minus 5 equal to 0. Now to know the point of intersection as I told before elimination elimination of 3x minus 4y plus minus 16 sorry minus 16 equal to 0 and 4x plus 3y minus 5 equal to 0. Now this is equation 1 and at equation 2 I am multiplying this with 3 and this with 4. I get 9x minus 12y minus 48 equal to 0. Here 16x plus 12y minus 20 equal to 0. Now just adding, will this get cancelled here, it becomes 25x minus 68 equal to 0. Now 25x is equal to 68, x is equal to 68 divided by 20. So we have found the x value, substituting x value in any of the equation. Always substitute the equation which is very simple, don't go with the multiplied equation substitute it here you can substitute anywhere in an equation to find the value of y so i am just substituting it in the equation 2 substitute x is equal to 68 by 25 in equation 2 the equation 2 here is 4x plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0 instead of x if i substitute 4 into 68 by 25 plus 3y is equal to 5. I am taking this to this side, the constant term to the other side. Here it becomes, we can't cancel, so just multiply. Plus 3y equal to 5. Bring this to the side. So 3y equal to 5 minus 272 by 25. Need to take LCM, so just multiply. 5 5 is a 25 125 minus 275 
272 by 25. Your 272 minus 125. One forty seven by twenty five bringing three to the side, it comes in divide so into three. Yeah, we can cancel it, it goes in three tables. So three fours are twelve, three nines are twenty seven. So y is equal to here yeah, forty nine greater number sign of minus. So y is equal to minus forty nine by twenty five. While writing, we need to write the x term and the y term. So 68 by 25 comma minus 49 by 25 is the point of uh, point of intersection between the two lines which is perpendicular that's all with the sum thank you